it's finally time to be absolutely volatile out of your mind, but this time quite literally thanks to the huge game changing update to Astrocyte Verse. This forgotten warlock exotic had two massive updates in the recent patch, making it end game viable and so now it's also getting the build treatment in 3 minutes or less. The blink jump ability has always been for the brave, but if you choose to master it, you'll be handsomely rewarded, especially with Astrocyte Verse's new buff. Intrinsically, this exotic helmet allows you to blink teleport further, more often and it'll also keep your radar up too. It also massively improves your weapon ready speed which is ideal for exiting your blink, even more so now with its added void subclass functionality. Using blink will now also cause nearby enemies to become volatile. This is within about a 5 meter radius and these enemies will stay volatile for roughly 10 seconds. Remember you can blink teleport twice before the short 3 second cooldown kicks in so this gives you the opportunity to apply volatile to a huge area of enemies or even just to bosses to improve single target damage. You're going to need to be running a high resilience stat build to really take advantage of it, but this in the trenches playstyle is going to pay off for you in explosive style. You can use literally any weapon to trigger further volatile explosions on these affected enemies, but the best synergy that I've found with it is with any void weapon with the destabilizing rounds perk. The new seasonal scout rifle, targeted redaction and even the fabled blink shotgun playstyle can all do bits here to wipe out huge areas of enemies. As an added bonus, this exotic now even works with the Nova Warp Super, whereby your Dark Blink movement ability does not cost super energy. This makes for some beautiful gameplay moments where you can just zip across the arena. The real beauty though is within the subclass synergies this now all offers, starting with the Echo of Cessation, as any of your volatile explosion final blows will create void breaches to refill your class ability energy when collected. This then sets you up to really turn the Hive Soul Fire up to 11 with this void 3.0 build. As you're causing blink teleport madness with volatile explosions everywhere, you'll want a close range option and there's nothing sweeter to do this than with a hand held supernova. Set it up with chaos accelerant to overcharge your grenade ability, chuck on the magnetic grenade and then the echo of expulsion on top to see the madness unfold. As you'll be creating tons of void breaches and orbs of power with your siphon and firepower mods, collecting these will grant devour if you have the echo of starvation equipped. Devour is great for health regen but it'll also rapidly recharge your handheld supernova grenade which you can then use to constantly grant volatile rounds to all of your void weapons with the echo of instability. Child of the old gods will weaken targets giving you an easy 15% damage increase for your void weapons and abilities. You'll also then want some void weapon surge mods on top for that sweet damage boost, then finally make sure to ask yourself if the void whispers back while scanning the QR code for the destiny item and your build link or clicking the link down in the description. However if you're more serious about the end game, use this explosive build instead and watch this video next.